Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Heavy Rain after a little bit of a delay. Uh, sorry about that. But anyway, we're back now. So last episode, we kicked things off with Shelby investigating, or not actually investigating, drowning in a river. <laughs> um, he then went on a rampage, murdered a bunch of security guards, beat up a mafioso, and found out that the whole reason the mafia guy was even putting flowers on the killer's brother's grave was because uh, the kid had died on her, one of his construction sites. And so he felt remorse about that. And we let the bastard live when he had a heart attack. We gave him his medicine and everything that went on our way. Um, after that, we met up with Maddie as she went to go visit the killer's mother in a nursing home or hospital. Um, where she tried to get the adoptive family's name out of her. And I believe we succeeded with that. It's just we didn't get a chance to hear what it was because we got build up suspense. Let's see, after that we joined back up with Ethan, who was giving being given his last task by the killer, which was to kill himself or his son, which I walked away from <laughs> all that, but it gave us it gave us a couple options and stuff, because we already had part of the address, so Ethan like got a list of addresses and like four of them were in the city, and then the fifth one was by the river. And there was, like, a video message that you could listen to, and I definitely heard, like, a seagull on the first, um, message. Because when I was looking at the editing and stuff, I hear it definitely for sure on the first one, but on the second one, you don't hear it. It's like the audio changed and stuff, which maybe it was showing different clips. Maybe I should have listened to more of them. Dang, but I definitely heard it on the first one. Um, but let's see. And so I'm hoping it's right. It's like the only one that's out of the way. The rest of them are in the city. It's it's the odd one out. So fingers crossed it works. And uh, now we're over here with Norm. And he's doing his uh, policey things. We've only got a few more hours left to save inches, yep. Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die and I'm going around in circles. Dang, Norman. Feeling the emotions here. Well, let's look over the evidence, shall we? All packed up and ready to go? Eh. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who no, did it. No, we don't, you dick. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. Mm -hmm. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. Feelings mutual, douchebag. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Oh, right, because you say it. <laughs> anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Yeah, that ain't happening, douchebag. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. Oh, bold of you. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Bull. Have a nice trip back. Norman. If he's the killer or not, I'm taking that fucker down somehow. <laughs> Norman boy. Alright. Keep it together. No. No. No! No! Oh, you foolish man! Why did you do it? The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data, I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. I'm trying here, dude. Very dangerous. I didn't They'll mean to take it before. You if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Don't we know it? All right, let's see what we got here. Clues. All right, we have the tire tracks. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Oh, well, let's see it. All right, analyze. Give me something. Okay, play. Hmm. 
Nope. Okay. Any ideas, man? Or katana blade? The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Okay. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay. There has to be something in here. Anything else we can get from this? Nope, okay, it's just it's just going to keep going to the sword, forget it. Okay. Enough of that. Tracks, the orchid, origami figure. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. All right, let's look at that. Standard paper, no identifiable uh, prints. That doesn't get us anywhere. Okay, but we can geoanalyze for the location. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Yeah, yeah, we got you, man. If you can get out of that. Nope. Our way. The other way. That one. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Let's find out. We got a serial on it. Impounded in a police case five years ago. The gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Fascinating. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Mm -hmm. Can't you analyze it? Does that do anything? Nope. What's our question mark over there? Come on. Keep it moving. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Hmm. Let's keep investigating. There has to be more to look at here. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Look at the rest of the stuff. Files. I don't like how I jumped to that too quick. Alright, let's see... Go ahead and victims. Analyze. <laughs> Gotta give me something here, man. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Yeah. Fabulous. Wanna can we add that to there? Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's one kid directly in the zone. So that might help a little. The killer is white, age between thirty and forty-five. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Can I open it? Yeah, intelligent and calm don't exactly describe Blake, though, do they? Anything I can do with this? Nope. Okay. There's something I'm missing. What? No. I wasn't opening it again. I don't know why this is even an option if it's not going to tell me anything different with it. Come on, out of the way. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay, nope. Back to the clues. Has to be something in here I'm missing. Piano flower, in a sense. In a pod with artificial light, geo analysis, anything? Oh. oh. 
Oh, we got something in the zone. I mean, yeah, there are things in the zone, but it's not exactly helping. All right, let's, maybe we can get, because we got the make of the car before. If we maybe cross-reference that with any cop cars. Hmm. Oh God! Dude, 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 your face, your face, your face. This isn't right though. Origami figures, oh God. There has to be something. Oh, I'm screwing this up. Okay. Any cops living in the area? A cop? Yes! There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha! Who is it? He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Dude, your eye is bleeding. Okay, you're good. That was just in your head. <laughs> You okay, bud? We need to stop with the drugs. It wasn't Blake. Fuck you, Stale. I'm gonna find some way to get you off here. Are you sure it's the right car? At the docks. Call on the SWAT team. Oh, and I'll need a chopper. Today? Of course I'll need it today, you fucking imbecile. <sighs> Such an asshole. I will find some way to take that bastard down. I hope we can find a way to take that bastard down. It would be really stupid if we can't do anything about him. I'm gonna stay with you, Scott. I don't wanna go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way it'll work. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Uh... Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. At once. Oh, my God. No! Oh, God. <laughs> I was not getting that vibe. I didn't want it. <laughs> I feel so awkward about the romances. <laughs> There's only one reason, guys. Ah, I was thinking it towards the end with Norman. Nobody's telling us about this flashback. And there's only one other important cop in the game. Oh, this makes things ten times worse than just fucking kissing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't forget. 
you the box is going. Ha, uh, yep, there it is. What the fuck, Scott? The fucking coat and everything. Why the fuck did you kiss her, you asshole? Can you fucking not, man? It was never a quest to find the killer, it was only a quest to find his own evidence. This is such bull. I trusted you, man! I thought you were the fucking good one! This ain't fucking forgivable. There has to be something we can... What? Okay, I don't... Let me see if I can wait it out. I don't fucking care for that, though. Because that's not... That's not like being an unreliable narrator or anything. That's just straight up fucking lying to us. Like, if he had an accomplice or something to come in through the window, that would have made more sense to me. But they just straight up fabricated a scene that we played through. Except that's not even... Like, that's not how a mystery should work. You get red herrings and all that, but... Surely the fire has to, like, not destroy everything. Something's gotta survive that.
this is just not okay. And what are you up to, Mads? 636, 5.64. It is just, oh, sorry, my turn. Oh, I should have probably thought, did thoughts. Let's Damn it, I forgot. <laughs> The moment of truth. Wait, you are the not- Shepherd Shepard gave me the right name, the origami killer lives here. Then why the fuck are you going to see him? I should have informed the police. Yeah! But I have no proof. Just the statement of an old woman who's lost her memory. Oh my god, you psychotic here. girl. I better be careful. If he's in his apartment, I'll pretend I got the wrong floor. Girl, this is a stupid idea. Oh. That's a weird one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I lost your touch, girl. Good on you, Maddie. This isn't smart in the slightest. Why are you doing this? I mean, for Ethan, probably, but apart. still, this is bad. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Okay, let's see. I'll go through it, room by room, but there's bound to be some kind of clue. Okay, we have his police. Used to be a cop. Mm -hmm. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. And took steps to prevent it. Okay, just shirts. Keep going, girl. Anything over here? It's the only place we haven't been. Hollow back, really? No? No hollow back, okay. Inhaler, car parts, bathroom. Don't know why anything would be in the bathroom, but still. No harm in looking. Okay. Ooh. There's got to be a place where he keeps his little secrets. Where could he have hidden them? Oh wait, I already know these things, don't I? It has to be in his desk, right? Come on. There's... Did you drink it all? Come on. Gotta be quick. Nothing. What's this? More inhalers. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Give me something to work with. Wait a minute. There seems to be a room missing. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There's a room missing? Wardrobe? This thing? A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Bastard. Come on, this one. There we go. Hurry up, girl. The orchids. Everything. Sean Mars. The Shit. lunatic's been watching him drown. Shit. Shit, it needs a password. John? Incorrect. Shit. Okay, um. Orchid. 
If not, it's rain. <gasps> wait, Max! Max, 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 Max! No, wait, what? No! Wrong one! Girl, girl, come on, Max! No, no, go back, go back, go back! It's Max, it's Max, it's Max! Oh, you idiot! No, 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 no! So you found my little secret? Fuck off! It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. God dang it, I hit the wrong button. No! Get in there. Okay, more time for me. Fabulous. Come on now. Max. Always the dog, Max. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Okay. Hurry. There's no time to lose. Okay, okay. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. Alright, what's this? Nope. What's this? Can I break through it? Well, fuck this. No! No! Come on. No! Just keep going for it, girl. Nope. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, what can I do? What can I do? Up. Come on. Oh, shit! No, 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 no. Come on, girl. Come on! Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Keep going. Oh, wait, what's this? Square? What's this, what's this, what's this? I don't know! Come on! Come on! Come on. No, no, no! Come on, girl. It has to be something. There. That's the one. Keep going. Oh, I am not at my best today. Get out of there. All right, come on. Oh wait, come on. This is the press and hold. Shit. I am so sorry. I am like failing you hardcore today. But we live, Maddie. We live. I think the apartment's on fire, but. There's a pipe. Really, no? Go. Well, oh no. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was thinking other things. X. Oh, one, oh, one, oh, one. Come on, girl. Keep going. Shit. Not. Backdraft, backdraft, backdraft. Are you okay? Are you okay? Just get out. It's way too high. If I jump, I gotta find something else. Don't jump. You're good, you're good. Maybe I can use the mattress. If we get the mattress. Come on. I have to keep going. I believe in ya. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, you asshole. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Can I check that out the window? No. Come on. 
Oh. Too hot, too hot, too hot. You're good, you're good. It's way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. You're fine. I gotta find something else. Just breathe a little and get that fucking can out of here. Come on. You got this, 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 you got this. I am feeling you so hardcore though, girl. I'm so sorry. Come on. Shit, 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 shit. Yo, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. One or two. Okay, jump. Square. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Now get the hell out of here. Oh, you dick. Fine. Okay, it's not working. Up. Come on. Let this work. Shit, 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 shit. <gasps> the fridge! Come on! They're only help. Indiana Jones this shit. <laughs> come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let this work. Hell the fuck yes! <laughs> oh my god. I am so sorry, girl. I have like singed your face, I have singed your legs. You are in rough shape. Now you know what Ethan goes through when I have to control him. I'm sorry. Maybe you'll be a little gentler next time. Um, call Ethan. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Oh, I should probably go. Uh,. I don't know. Shit. Can I call Jaden? Can I still call Jaden? Let me still call Jaden. Well, wait, Jaden might already be on his way there. God, I should have read through all the options. I just panicked. <laughs> It's been a very panicky episode. <laughs> oh no, baby Sean! Oh, I was not expecting to get to play as him! Dude, you're in bad hands, but I'll try my best! <laughs> oh, Friday, 722, 5.84. And it says... I think he's in the right place. It was by the wire dock, so it has to be the right place, right? Okay, it looks like we're playing Ethan anyway. I think it was just trying to remind us of the goal. Shot. This is going to be a long one, Shot. just so you guys know. I mean, it probably doesn't matter now, and you'll probably see it when it gets uploaded, but still. I've been looking for a long, long time. Either. Screw you, man. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Well, look at us. We're doing it. Now go away. <laughs> Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched. And then, I remembered you. Was he on the case? He did do it though, you bastard! He threw himself in! All those murders, 
Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered. Just as much as my victim. No, you have fucking not. I finished your damn trial. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Fabulous. You got a key to that? Did he just take out a gun? Fuck you. Yeah! <laughs> Norm with the save. Kick his ass, Norm. And Maddie's on her way, so fuck yeah. <laughs> Whole team's coming together. Alright, man. I got you. Okay, try this. Metal strong, hopefully. Question is, what's stronger, us or metal? Come on. Nope. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful! Oh no! Baby boy! Baby boy! Oh shit, don't be drowned, don't be drowned, don't be drowned, don't be drowned! Come on, man! Get him out of there! Your head's still above water, man! It's still above water! Well, it was above water for like five seconds there, and then it just put you down underwater! Come on, baby! I know you've been having a horrible time, but come on, man. Norman, shoot his ass! I am not fucking abiding by this shit anymore, you traitor's douche. Fucking... Kissing Lauren. Kidnapping our baby, making us think you're the good guy. I ain't fucking having it. Not by a fucking long shot. Square this fucker down. Wait, who am I controlling? I am Norman, right? Well, whoop. Fuck you, shelves. What? Nope. Oh, sorry, sorry, Norman. <laughs> Triangle. No TVs for us. Square. Fuck you, circle. Up. Down. Right. XXXX. Haha, -ha, mashing. Oh no. I failed at the mashing. Positions. Suspect is likely to be armed and dangerous. Tell this fucker, please, Maddie. No, shoot to kill. I repeat, shoot to kill. No, do not shoot to kill. Snipers in position. Do not! They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. Fuck you, he is. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows Maddie, his face. Maddie, knock some sense into that ass hat. Hey, you there? What are you doing? Please, Maddie. Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. No. Her getting in the way. No. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, Maddie, on. you're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. What? Oh. Don't just toss that shit at me. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Come on now. Somebody look up and see Jaden, please. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Do not got time for you and your bullshit. Hell yes. I am fucking loving it. Owen. Come on, baby. Please. Breathe. You gotta breathe. One. Down. Really, I wouldn't waste time with the breath day. Don't you just want to do chest compressions? Do not make us lose our one. <laughs> Don't leave me. Shoot. 
Sure. You cough up that water, baby. <laughs> Ethan, you gotta keep at it, man. Power of love isn't enough. Do the chest compressions. <laughs> For the love of God, do the chest compressions. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> sure. <sighs> Oh, I thought you were gone. Oh, we still need to get him to the hospital. Dad, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Yay! I love you, baby. Oh. <laughs> still at risk for dry drowning. Get her out of my I swear to God, man. Do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Well, give your reasons, girl. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Whoa. Hell yes. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I hope that went well. <laughs> oh yeah, because this is going to make him listen, right? Holy crap. Did I just maneuver around the? Okay. All personnel, hold your fire. Ha! <laughs> hold your fire. Well, that works, I guess. Madison, what's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. No. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. <laughs> Look, we'll all go out together with, with our hands in the air, and they can't possibly shoot us. Right? I have the evidence that proves your innocence. Okay. That works. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. This all worked out. You get the cuffs? Yo! <laughs> really? Random sledgehammer. Who throws away a perfectly good sledgehammer? <laughs> Come on, Norm. Up and at him. <laughs> Grab and cuff him. What? Help. <laughs> Fucker. Nope. <laughs> I am going to cuff you. I'm going to cuff you. <laughs> Promise. Come on, Norman boy. Justice. We are arresting this bastard. Or we're wood chippering the bastard. Stay alive, Normie. Well, fuck him. You look like you got yourself, right? I don't have to save you here. Alright, good. Good on you. Really would have liked to have brought him in alive, but... I mean, he brought that challenge himself. Fuck you, Shelby! Sorry for ever trusting you, you dick. I guess we're in endgame now, huh? Uh, Shawnee boy, your face is going through your jacket there. Please have an ambulance.
Jesus. <laughs> there was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. Who is actually the hero. Who is great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the origami killer. Suck it, Blake. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Lot of sunlight here. New apartment. Is this where we're gonna live now? Only if you really, really want to. I love the or door. We keep on looking until we find something you like. It doesn't matter where we live, as long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. We're stuck with each other, kiddo. Like glue. Can I choose what my room is? Sure thing, champ. They mean, do we do we build the room or <laughs> how's this work? All right, then I think we can stay here. Overcome a lot of tragedy, they deserve it. <laughs> Our next guest is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? All the time. <laughs> Jesus, she went through so... Good on you, Maddie. <laughs> So that's where the picture comes from. Fabulous. Thank you, Miss Page. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Indeed. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. What? What? <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> More talk. Okay. Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mark. A lot of people seem to have saved life. The <laughs> courage and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good. 
Oh, is that all Normie gets? <laughs> Away, man. You don't need it. Don't need it. Hell yeah. Ugh. God, I was getting so worried about that. <laughs> Especially with his drug use there at the end. Now please. Please tell me that Blake has been kicked the fuck off the force. And that would just make for the perfect ending, in my opinion. Why do you even need a computer? Stop resetting the Mars. That's not great either. <laughs> the one who got the biggest shit into the stick. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. No good reason. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. Why does he even get a fucking gravestone? Let me find the sledgehammer. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Dramatic tone shift! <laughs> okay, well, this has been heavy rain, guys. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> Is it just to show me how bad things could have been? <laughs> I don't- I'm sorry, I'm just- Some of these are different scenes. <laughs> some of them are the same, but some of them are different, it's distracting. Almost looked like Benicio del Toro there at that angle. Okay, sorry. So, I guess maybe we should do thoughts and opinions. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to end today. I thought I would still had a lot more time with this, but no. Apparently, we were in the final act. But I just didn't know it. Um. Jesus. 
Okay. So. Alright, this will be better. I just... It was just a lot coming at us today. <laughs> um, alright, so... I think we spent a fair amount of time talking about Shelby already. Like, there were a couple of things along the way that made me pause and all that. Like, you know, him getting annoyed with Lauren whenever she found evidence and things like that. But, I mean, he was just presented as such a good character and everything from the get-go. And then, again, that whole fake scene that we played through at the typewriter shot. Shop. Sorry, not shot. <laughs> at the typewriter shop. I don't... It would be one thing if it was a story being told to us, like if, you know, Lauren hadn't gone with him and he had, like, met up with her later and told her, like, oh my god, you won't believe what happened at the shop and stuff. Then you have the excuse of the unreliable narrator. But we were him. We've been him this entire time. And yeah, they've... He's been able to do stuff and, like, set up the trials for Ethan along the way. And do other things. Like the, you know, killing the club owner and all that and fighting with Jaden. But we had those chunks of time missing because everybody had chunks of time missing. And all that. When we jumped through characters, we would jump hours ahead or hours behind and things like that. I don't know if we actually jumped hours behind. But, you know, time wasn't consistent for everyone. And so, you know, there, there wouldn't be any second guessing there. I, I just don't very much care for the fact that they just flat out lied to us for a scene. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Madison. <laughs> so, I, I could have been better to Madison today, but I mean, we've seen how I do with Ethan, so it's kind of to be expected. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad, though. Like, we, we really, really messed up for some of these things. <laughs> That she got burned to hell and back there. But, I mean... I feel like she's atoned now for her lying about the whole reporter thing. All that. I would have liked to have seen, you know, one last scene with her and Ethan there in the ending. And all that. But I have a feeling that might be because I, you know, pushed her away and all that after the romance. But, I mean, she still showed up and saved our ass and warned us about the cops outside, so, you know, I feel like it works. <laughs> Very disappointed we did gay hang happening to Blake. Like, he consistently abused his power, went after the wrong people, tried to frame people, all that, just to, like, you know, get the yeah, everyone off his back, more or less, because he was the one in charge of the case, but... You know, none of that happened. We didn't get any kind of comeuppance for him, which sucked because we did kind of get a comeuppance for Norman and his drug use, which I didn't like. Because, I mean, I broke one time, but I didn't realize I was breaking, and I don't feel like that's fair. It's like I did it once by accident, and it's like, guess what? <laughs> You're a hardcore drug user now. You tried to be dry and sober, but you do it one time and your entire career is fucked. Uh... Yeah, I wish that could have turned out better for him. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. Um, let's see. At least Ethan and Sean turned out alright. Like, my main goal was to get Ethan and Sean out of this in one piece, and it happened, and they're happy. Although, I am kind of curious what happened with Sean's mom. Anything? Because before, I don't know, it, it just sounded a bit like how they were wording it there at the end like Sean's going to be with him full time now all that which I don't know if that's just me you know, reading too much into it or something but like are they not still split custody I kind of feel like we should have got a reuniting with the mom thing because she was you know a big character in the first act and then we just kind of dropped her after she was all like well Ethan's been going through some stuff 
and stuff. I'm a little concerned there. Uh, which, you know. Rightfully so. Also, we totally didn't get any kind of explanation as to why Ethan got the dogs and all that during his blackouts. Like, what the hell happened there? Was was Shelby- am I just supposed to assume that Shelby was just stalking him 24-7 and putting shit in his hand whenever he went outside? Rest in peace. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it was it was weird. Let's see what extras we got. Bonuses. Casting concept arts. Pardon me, I'm belching. <laughs> we got music, trailers, blah blah. blah. Right, trophies. Do I get trophies? Let's see. Interactive drama. Thank you for supporting it. Good father. Follow the schedule with Sean, put him in a good mood. Yay. Sleazy play, white knight, sleazy place, beat Troy. Private eye, sleazy place, led Lauren to talk about her son. Oh, this was all stuff at the beginning. Played two games with Sean successfully and bought him candy. Yay, we're good friends. <laughs> I guess you can see I was a good father that entire time. But... I really wish we had gotten a bit more into the psyche of Shelby because we had people like speculating on stuff and then he just went full I am the villain and they're at the end like you know we got the whole backstory with him and his brother on that and I feel like the importance in those scenes was always being placed on his brother and his you know dad failing to act to save his son right but then he was all like i could never measure up in my father's eyes it's like is that really what you're mad about because <laughs> i because i thought it was supposed to be him not saving your brother and not being a true father and then he picked ethan after he tried to sacrifice himself for his son. Was it just to, like, give him a do-over? It... I don't know how I feel about the ending. Like, I'm happy it worked out for everybody. I just don't know how I... I don't know how I feel about... Yeah, how things went for Scott. For any of the cops, really. Like, Madison and Ethan, I'm happy for. Again, I'm just glassing over Madison again. <laughs> Sorry. But Madison and Ethan, I'm, like, happy for. They mostly got good endings there. I don't know. Madison had a new nemesis, I suppose, show up there. But, um, you know, Norman, he went, he's hallucinating. And Blake's, I'm assuming, still at work. And Shelby just went fucking nuts <laughs> like I would have liked because they had yeah they had a brief glimpse of him in the hospital I bet you actually now that I think about it I bet you it was all in the thoughts if I had just at the beginning when he was like burning shit if I had just you know pulled up the thought thing that would have probably told us something unless there were no thoughts were there thoughts were there no thoughts I was just burning shit. <laughs> and freaking out about him being the killer. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Overall, though, Ethan definitely had the strongest storyline. I really enjoyed his stuff. I feel like Shelby had the second strongest, but some of the choices made there towards the end knocked it down couple notches for me because I mean he could have they could have done something else with the typewriter scene and then yeah they could have expanded a bit more on him being the killer there in the end but maybe they did and I just didn't hear his thoughts um let's see what else uh honestly Madison probably comes in third in terms of story for me and Norman's last. But really, I feel like Norman had the shortest storyline and we didn't 
get too much with him on that. It was just like a couple of standard cop scenes. And really, he just kind of lucked out with some shit there. So I don't know how... I don't know what to think about Norman. Uh, but really, it's like I liked all the characters well enough, but he, he just... He had a really bland storyline going there. He did not do a lot. Like, I feel like he went opposite of Shelby. <laughs> Where Shelby started off strong and finished weak. Norman started off really weak and then finished strong. Like, I loved his action and all that. I loved him actually finally putting together all the clues and everything, but... I don't know, it, just, it was a weird flip-flop there. And then Madison, she... I don't, I don't like how her character was kind of brought into things. All that, and I don't like a lot of the situations and stuff that they put her in, because a lot of her stuff was just kind of sexual to be sexual. If that makes sense. Um, but... Yeah, she still had a lot of really cool action scenes. I feel like she had some of the better action scenes out of most of them. Her and Ethan did pretty well, both in terms of action. All that, but I don't know. A lot of times it just, it felt like they were trying to find stuff for her to do. Same with Norman. That's why I think they're coming in last is because they kind of had to like, well, we need to give these guys something to do. <laughs> we put them in the plot. All that. And... Yeah. Let's see. I also thought we were going to get something there with Sean at the end. Like, we were going to play with him and, like, try to keep him alive until help arrived or something. But, uh, no, they, I guess they just threw that up again to remind us what we're fighting for. <laughs> but, it all worked out. So, what can you do? I feel like we got a pretty good ending there. Stuff I just, I was not expecting it to come so quick. All right, um, so yeah, that has been Heavy Rain. Uh, let's see, we have Until Dawn coming up soon. And next I can probably get that started now because I'm still wrapping up Rusty Lake. Sorry about that, but yeah, I really want to play Rusty Lake. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are going on until, until, until Dawn and then I'll figure something else for once we get through with Rusty Lake. I need to look back at the polls and see what was, you know, liked. All right. So, again, that's it for Heavy Rain. Uh, what were your guys' opinions? Do you have any inputs on some of the situations there? Uh, let me know. So, until next time, like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in Until Dawn, I guess. <laughs> Bye.